Hi, thank you for visiting my RC channel. My name is Bill and I'm a RC radio control enthusiast and I also do RC reviews. Joining me for this review of this happy model Mobula 6 65mm F4 FPV brushless whoop drone. It's packaged like this. Let me just get everything unpacked. So this is everything unpackaged, and first and foremost, including the battery. This only weighs 27 grams. Sixty-five millimeters is a nice size. Frame is slightly flexible, but seems quite durable. The struts are quite strong. And you can get this bind and fly with an FR Sky receiver or a Fly Sky receiver. And this has got an FR Sky receiver. And you can get it with 19,000 kV motors or these SE0802 brushless motors, 25,000 kV. So the 25,000 kV will be faster, but give less flying time than the 19. 1000 kV, not as fast, but will give you more flying time. Has the Crazy B F4 FC flight controller, 4 in 1 BL Heli S, 5 amp ESCs. The camera in front here is a Runcam Nano 800 TVL CMOS camera. Slightly adjustable. But uh, not really. Got two antennas shooting out here. And this comes with a 25 milliwatt 5 band 40 channel VTX. These Gem Fan 1219 3 blade props. They push on and pull off. And seem to hold quite securely. look underneath this comes with four of these happy model 300 mih high voltage lrhv 30c with a 60c burst current batteries and has a ph2 connector slides in here quite comfortably doesn't fit that securely but should be okay but we'll see when we fly it. Motors plug and play. Here's the micro USB port to plug into Betaflight. And the receiver is inbuilt on the FC. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Comes with this charger for the battery you plug into a USB plug into here to charge up the batteries if you don't have a hobby grade charger we get a prop removal tool force boot propellers always good a small star Phillips screwdriver and some spare screws the instructions are actually quite good well detailed Give all the diagrams, settings, binding procedures, binding directly using beta flight, the BTX bands and channels. So let me get this ready to bind to my radio controller. 
I'm going to bind this to my jumper T12 radio controller that is a multi-module and I've got it set up here so on multi FR Sky I've set it to D16 FR Sky X I'm going to get ready to bind the power on my plugging in the battery and then the bind button is over here so we can see the red light is flashing press down on the bind button a little bit tricky but we'll get that bind button goes solid into bind here the red light starts flashing indicating that it's binding goes solid and this is it bound I go out here press arm and motors are spinning I'll just take you through the default beta flight settings okay this is the Mobula 6 connected to beta flight and the first thing to do I always recommend is click on this here and do a backup of this file so I backed it up into Mobula 6 default and I also go to the CLI and type in dump and back up the CLI if you're not sure how to do this, just do a search for backup CLI settings and you'll find a lot of information on how to do this. So if we go back up to set up here, a good thing to do as well is make sure it's on a flat level surface and calibrate the accelerometer. So I'm just going to click on calibrate. Uh, that is a calibrated look at ports we got USB VCP enabled here and on UR2 we got VTX TBS smart audio enabled here or smart audio configuration D shot 600 motor stop is switched on we've got the craft name is Mobula 6 uh, FR Sky is SPI RX support receiver mode and FR Sky D for 8 channel and you can change this to FR Sky X for 16 channels so I'm going to put this on FR Sky X then we've got OSD anti-gravity and dynamic filter enabled here and beeper configuration everything except armed just going to click on save and reboot to save the setting change I made now if we go to power and battery we've got minimum cell voltage on 2.9 maximum on 4.4 .4 and warning on three I'm going to leave it like that look at the pits these are the default pit settings and I'm going to leave it on the defaults and see how it goes look at receiver TAER1234 look at modes these are the default mode settings look at OSD but all these are the default OSD settings as well
but I like to enable warnings, so I'm going to enable warnings. Move this down a bit here. And save this. We go to CLI. I'm going to type in them. And we can see the target for this is Crazy B FR, sorry, Crazy B 4 FR version 4.0.6, dated September the 1st, 2019. So I'm just going to put my own VTX settings in here. So if I just type in here, get VTX. I can see the current band is band 1 and the current channel, channel 4. I normally like flying on F4. So I can leave the channel on 4, but I need to change the band to 4. So I type in set V. TX and select band and go equal space four and enter and type save and enter go back here type in get VTX and I can see now I'm on band 4 and channel 4. VTX power is only 25 milliwatts at 1. And then it's always good to back up your CLI settings after the changes you made and also do the backup that I showed you in the beginning. So these are the beta flight settings. And to secure the battery better, I just put some adhesive rubber on the top and the bottom of the battery cradle here to help secure the battery better. Now I'm going to take this to our indoor racing Christmas event and a few of us will fly it and see how it goes.
So a few of us flew this and we can all really feel the power of these 25,000 kV motors. It does fly nicely but we all found that the default PIDs are too twitchy and the throttle curve too high. So I'll change and test some settings and share this in another video at a later stage. So Please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.